was darkness, and then bang, giving birth to an endless expanding existence of time, space, and matter. Every day, new discoveries are unlocking the mysterious, the mind-blowing, the deadly secrets of a place we call the universe. Enormous asteroid impacts that rain death from the sky. Entire planets colliding and turning worlds into dust. A black hole that's been blowing away the rest of its galaxy for a hundred million years. And massive stars that rock the universe like nothing else. Get ready to be blown away in a countdown of 10 of the largest explosions in the cosmos. These are the biggest blasts in the universe. They can not only wipe out cities filled with millions of people in the blink of an eye, but can lay waste to entire continents, planets, and even rip galaxies apart. The universe is filled with tremendously violent explosions and blasts and events. The calm serenity of life on Earth is, to some degree, the exception, not the norm. And whether they're massive collisions or explosions of entire stars, they all have important elements in common. Really, a, another way to say explosion or blast is just a big liberation of energy all at once. When you liberate a lot of energy in something that already has structure, you tend to demolish the structure, so it seems very destructive. But the laws of nature will take energy and reconstruct it into some other form. In 1994, more than 20 pieces of the Shoemaker-Levy 9 comet pummeled Jupiter. There were big black scars all across the face of Jupiter, so large even that they could be seen clearly even with amateur telescopes. The largest comet fragment was more than a mile wide, and the force of its impact was equal to six million megatons of TNT. That's about a hundred times or more of the entire nuclear arsenal of the world. So if you took every bomb in every corner on Earth and exploded it in one big explosion, you wouldn't even begin to touch the power of this fragment colliding into Jupiter. But guess what? Even that type of power isn't enough to qualify as one of the biggest blasts in the universe. The first event to make the top 10 was many times more devastating. Number 10, death from the sky. The smallest blast on our list may still have been big enough to wipe out the dinosaurs by blocking out the sun with smoke and debris. It's the Chicxulub impact, the asteroid that crashed into Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula about 65 million years ago. A six-mile-wide space rock, taller than Mount Everest and almost as wide, thundered into Earth. So I'm sitting in front of the meteor crater in Arizona, and this is about three quarters of a mile wide. So if we were to drive across this at about 55 or 60 miles per hour, it would take like a minute. Well, the crater created by the asteroid that impacted the Yucatan Peninsula, it would take over two hours to drive it at about the same speed. So you can imagine how much larger that crater is than this one behind me. The 112-mile diameter crater is big enough to fit New York City, Philadelphia, and everything in between inside. If it struck today, 
about 12 million people would be killed instantly, not to mention the damage and casualties that would spread beyond the crater. That's because the energy in every blast is released in several ways, such as light during the blinding flash of the impact, and heat, capable of spreading wildfires across much of the globe. But with collisions, most of the devastation comes from the energy of motion, known as kinetic energy, which creates the crater and the flying debris. The energy in the impact that created the crater at Chicxulub had to have been enormous, probably about 250 million megatons. That's a lot of energy. The largest bomb ever exploded on Earth was 50 megatons. So that compared to 250 million gives you a sense. It was also about 40 times greater than the energy released by the largest Shoemaker-Levy 9 comet fragment to hit Jupiter. And figuring out the kinetic energy released in a huge asteroid impact, it's all a matter of plugging some very big numbers into a simple equation. The key thing to keep in mind when considering the energy in these kinds of collisions is that the, the formula for what's called the kinetic energy, the energy of motion, is a half mv squared. The mass and then the square of the velocities. Mass is the weight of the object, and velocity is the speed it's traveling. You can have a huge amount of energy for a massive enough or fast enough object. Considering that the Chicxulub asteroid weighed nearly as much as Mount Everest, and was moving at over 50,000 miles an hour, about 50 times faster than a bullet from a revolver, it's no wonder it was one of the biggest blasts in the universe. But what about its effect on the structure of the entire planet? An explosives expert places a small charge just under the skin of a watermelon to simulate the type of energy released when this asteroid slammed into Earth. As you can see, something that would be devastating to us is not too devastating to the planet as a whole. There's still plenty of room for the blasts to get bigger. Number nine, Martian impact. Luckily, Mars, and not Earth, was the target of an asteroid 200 times larger than the one that slammed into the Yucatan Peninsula. The asteroid that impacted Mars about 3.9 billion years ago was 1,200 miles wide. Now, that's about the size of Pluto. And if you imagine most of the continental US from Denver to the Florida Panhandle and Chicago down to the south of Texas, huge. And that's just the size of the asteroid. The crater, known as the Borealis Basin, is another story. The hole covers about 40% of the planet. So the Borealis Basin on Mars is about 5,300 miles wide. Now the crater behind me is not even a mile wide. So you can imagine multiplying this by over 5,000 times, and that's the size of the impact crater on Mars. That's about the size of the continent of Africa. Amazingly huge. While the speed of the asteroid that smacked Mars wasn't much different than the one that hit the Yucatan Peninsula, the mass was many times greater, leading to a much larger release of energy. Probably about a million times more energetic, so it would be about 250 million, million megatons of energy, and that's a lot of energy. And that's why you got such a big, big basin. Something like that hitting Earth today would put the instant death toll in the billions and would probably wipe out all life on the planet soon after. But the next blast did blow an even bigger chunk of crust off our planet, 
luckily before life even existed here.